Hi, welcome to Start Somewhere Wellness. I'm Dr. Debbie Osmond. I'm glad to have you here. I have a special guest today. She's a little camera shy. This is Scout. And I'm going to continue talking about brain health and give you four solid reasons that pets are a good bet for your brain. Can you say hi, Scout? Oh, she's a good girl. We just got her on Wednesday. One great thing that pets do for your brain is they get you moving. And when you have pets, as we've already seen, you take a walk, you get into more conversations with your neighbors. You have to get up and get out if you've got a pet because they need to get out and move. Oh, you are such a good girl. Another thing that, pet, thing that pets do is they get you out into nature. Oh, then you can look around and you can see the birds and you can hear the crickets and you can hear the wind blowing through the trees. And that gives you some vitamin D and elevates your mood to get outside and see nature. A third thing that pets do is that they're comforting. The mere action of grooming or petting your pet just lowers your stress level. It decreases your cortisol in anything, and it lowers your blood pressure. Anything that does those things is good for your brain. If it's good for your heart, it's good for your brain. And the final thing is that pets make you smile. Whenever you are with your pet, it triggers serotonin and dopamine. Those are the happy chemicals. And those are things that make your brain more, more healthy and more resilient. Now, can you ever, could you ever be here with this beautiful Girl Scout and feel bad? No, you can't not smile when you're with your pet. Now, multiple studies have proven that pets relieve stress. And stress has been, um, is accountable for about 75 to 90% of doctor visits. All kinds of animals are good. It doesn't have to be a dog. Pets are a daily source of joy and they're beneficial for your body and your brain. So thanks for joining me and I hope you'll consider having a pet. Read my blog, share, like, all that stuff. And I'm about to finish my formal studies, my master's degree, so I've got a lot of fun, exciting things coming for you. Stay tuned. See you next week. Bye-bye.